Women are easily attracted to men who know these eight things about themselves. In this video, I'm going to go into detail about exactly what it takes for a man to really know and to embody that women get really attracted to pretty easily. And so let's dive in because maybe you're on this video because you are attracted to a woman and you want to get better with your dating life. And I'm going to help you do just that. First thing in regards to why women would be attracted to you is you know what type of woman that you want and you look at dating as an exploration instead of a concern to get a woman. Many men in, I think our society now these days are trained in their mind that you have to get a woman to like you. And if you get her to like you, she's going to give you your man card or your man enough in some certain way. Right. And so this will get us into approval seeking behavior very easily. So what makes a man stand out so much more, especially to a high value woman, a woman that is beautiful, has going for her life and the, the ones that many men are attracted to that aren't these toxic, emotionally unavailable women. What will attract her is a man that knows what type of woman that they are looking for. You don't get jaded by unavailability. You don't get jaded by beauty. You don't get jaded about much because you are an ex on an exploration process. Instead of getting the woman to choose you, you have the mindset as I'm also the chooser too. Number two is you have a sense of awareness to embrace different perspectives, but are very honest about who you are and the direction that you want from your own life. So having a sense of awareness is really necessary, not only in conflict resolution and finding your best match, knowing your weaknesses and your strengths and being accountable for everyday life. And also looking at life as a, through a different lens of someone. But what happens is what I've noticed a lot is when we're dating and we're in this dating aspect, we, we don't embrace different perspectives because we think that, oh, if she thinks differently, then this has to be my boundary. And we have to get this woman to make sure that she thinks like me, but in order to understand, which I'm going to go into, the only time that we should probably have non-negotiables is understanding what are your non-negotiables. Non-negotiables can look like, um, a woman, if you want to have kids, a woman that's not wanting to have kids, a non-negotiable could be if you're not looking to get married or you are looking to get married and the woman isn't or is looking to get married. Another non-negotiable could be religion. Maybe you are Jewish and you would like to marry a woman who is Jewish as well. So those are more non-negotiables. Maybe you are looking for a woman that doesn't drink alcohol. And so that could be a non-negotiable as well. So other things you have to understand, like you have to have a sense of awareness to embrace different perspectives because when you are able to embrace different perspectives, you're also able to get to know someone inside instead of just the outside, get deeper level conversations because curiosity always will lead you to deeper insight about someone. So be very honest about not only who you are, cause you're not going to diminish your needs and you're not going to diminish the direction that you want in your life. But what you will do is you will talk to the woman, you will talk to other people, and you're just going to be curious because at the end of the day, if you know what type of woman that you're loving, and you want to be with, and you're not concerned with making a woman like you, you're going to step into the energy of exploration and embrace her different perspectives and figure out why to see more. If you guys can connect on a deeper level, because remember everybody's lens is different in life because everybody's perspective is different because we all have experienced different things. So there's a reason why we own a storyline or we embrace a different storyline. It's because of where maybe the upbringing is where we came from and what we've gone through in life. Number three is being treated like a lady men. Chivalry still exists. Many women do want men to be chivalrous, moving her on the other side of the sidewalk when she's not walking on the street road of the sidewalk. My husband still does this till this day. And it makes me feel more like a woman. It helps me embrace my feminine. And it reminds me that he is here to protect me in my surroundings every day, pulling out her chair when you're out to dinner. Chivalry is not old fashioned guys, and it still exists. And I think that opening the car door for a woman, giving her the jacket when you want to, you don't have to open the car door every single time, but giving her her jacket when she's cold and actually looking and being aware of her surroundings and being able to embrace the chivalry because there are so many men, believe it or not, who don't do this anymore. And the men that do are the ones that make lasting impressions still to this day. There's no, and a lot of people will say, oh, it's because it's 
this new age and this new millennials and 20 year olds and blah, blah, blah. 20 year old women that I talk to love this still. Listen, men, women have many expectations when we are dating. Okay. You know, this as I've talked about this in my channel and so should men as well. But I think when a man looks at this as embracing his masculine role in the courting period and is proud of it and his own it and owns it because it's a sign of maturity. It's a sign of awareness and it's a sign of respect for himself. And so he becomes more of the chosen one in a woman's eyes. And the woman remembers these really small things. These are the small things that really help you stick out when it comes to making the for a great first impression, having a great date, and also to making sure that you are focused on pursuing her instead of chasing her. And I want to mention two videos right now before we go into more of them. I have a video that I talk about in regard, regards to pursuing versus chasing, which I'm going to link below in the description box. And I'll put up here on the cards for you to watch next. This is a really important one in order to understand how to pursue instead of chase if you're struggling with that. And also to showing your intent, how to show intent is very important in the courting process, not just only being chivalry because we can, if we think this is a way that we're going to get a woman to like us, this is also too how we can fall in that friend zone. So you want to make sure that you have an equal balance of a lot of things, but the number one thing is owning who you are. Next one is know how to manage your temper. Okay. And how to treat others plain and simple. I've talked about this since the day one of making my YouTube channel. Being patient is the key to building an everlasting, sustainable, healthy relationship. Because when you are residing in patience in the courting period or the assessing period in your dating, what you start to look at is you start to see if this person is a great fit. So you're being able to not only manage your emotions, but manage how you are patient in life and then also managing your temper because being able to handle your emotions and not making your problems, her problems are really important on a date. I was interviewing these girls about five, five months ago. And I remember one of them uh, asked a question that said, what was the most horrific first date for you? And one of them was long story short, the guy had picked her up. And as soon as they started talking within the first 10 minutes of jump driving to the restaurant, he was complaining about his life problems. And she was just so turned off by this. No woman wants to walk into a great with a bad experience and seeing a man making his problems, her problems, but instead she wants to experience fun with you. She wants to see that place side of you first. So not being able to handle your emotions looks like easily raising your voice, getting easily agitated, name calling people that are around you or in the restaurant, putting down others in the restaurant, the valet driver, maybe putting down others in regards to not respecting them, complaining about how they work and being aggressive for small reasons. I remember myself when I was on a date, a man that I was dating complained so much. He complained about the valet driver, how slow they were and how the server had this accent that the, he couldn't even understand what he was saying and why is he working here? And I was just so turned off by that. And now fast forward to my days. Now, my husband, when I listen out, when I, when I think about him, I don't ever see him complain about other people. I literally am the one I feel like complaining when I com complain about something taking too long or service taking too long. He always reminds me, sweetie, you don't know what they're going through. Like just chill. It's okay. We're not in a rush. Right. And so he brings me back to home. And so what's really important is that in a partnership, these two things can correlate, but you always want your partner to off balance you. Right. And so they can bring you back to home so they can really say, is this really important or is it really not? And the way that we do it is both choosing a partner that is able to manage their emotions and their temper as well as a man and a woman. But this is what a woman looks for. But also you men should be looking for this in a woman as well. Next is challenge her by accepting risks together. You know how I say challenge a woman, keep mystery and all these things like this. All right. So I have a video about mystery, of course, but I'm going to go into what this means when it comes to challenging her in the first initial stages of you guys dating. So challenging her by accepting risk together, do things that are full of memories and adventure. Still to this day, I remember the first time that my husband and I took a trip to Naples, Florida, and it was just the spur of the moment because we were running away from a hurricane. And still to this day, seven years later, I remember it guys. And so I remember all the adventures that we've been on together. And here's why as humans, when we have this effect of adventure together, it enables us to have a dopamine effect in our mind. And we embrace a lot of endorphins that are happening in between these moments and these shared experiences. And this is what gives us a remembrance. I remember 
crying my butt off when I was in Mexico climbing into a cave, a dark cave with a rope. And it was my first time and it was the most scariest experience. And I saw my husband go first and I went after him and I just always remember his face of fright and my face of fright and I did it. And so the reason why I share these experiences with is with you is because it gains strength in a relationship. When you share these moments, you're able to bond. So this will show her you like to take risks consciously, right? So obviously if she's scared of heights, you're probably not going to take her zip lining, right? So you want to be conscious about what you do. So she will want to be the one who shows you also that she can take risks too. So this is where you are challenging her as well. So for example, let me go back to my um, example of what I did with my husband. When we were uh, roping down into the cave in Mexico, which was pitch black, I didn't know what to expect. I was crying my butt off and I was like, I have to do this because with me, he knows I have this thing where I need to prove my mindset that it is okay. That it is just fear because at the end, the, the other end of fear is always beauty. And I really, really, truly know that because of the fact that I've experienced this. And so it was beautiful when I got down there. It was, was one of the most memorable experiences that I've ever had in my life. I didn't want to leave the cave, like literally. What happened in this moment is I saw my husband doing it and I was like, I don't want to let him down and I don't want to let myself down. So it adds the risk to the reward. So when a woman is interested in you and invested in you, she wants to challenge herself. She wants to show you that she's able to also do things with you. And so this is how you can challenge her to grow in the relationship with you as well. So plan adventures as a relationship grows. Next is have conversations about behaviors that you think are attractive about her. So many times we can say that we can compliment a woman and tell her she's beautiful. Well, great. Every woman likes to hear that she's beautiful. That shouldn't go away, but we shouldn't overdo this all the time. Okay. And so I think the real essence of how a man can really compliment a woman is by her behaviors. And I've always said this for years and years, and I know how effective it is because the compliments about her behaviors always stick out because people are so used to surface level conversations. So having conversations about behaviors that you think are attractive about her qualities that, you know, you like about her. So she sees that this is something to continue doing as this is what gains attraction for you. Here's an example that I have most men do on their dates. Let's say that you have a woman that maybe you're on a third date. She doesn't really reciprocate as much. Like she always is the answers your text immediately. She's always showing up for your date. Her energy is really good when she wants to talk to you. She tells you that she likes you, but she just doesn't maybe initiate much and you do all the initiation. And it's been about a month in and you're on the third date. Well, now's the time to say something probably. And so maybe she asks you a question on your date. So what is it that you like about me? And you're like, you know, I love that you have the same values in life. I love that, you know, you want to start a family, whatever it is that you guys have talked about. And then, you know, and, and I also love, and then you can throw in, I also love when a woman initiates from time to time. I think it's such an attractive quality when a woman really goes after what she wants and texts me and tells me she's thinking about me. It shows that she values the relationship and values me as a person. That is one of my number one attractive qualities. So what you're doing is you're planting a seed in that woman's head and you're saying, Oh, especially if she likes you, I need to initiate a little bit more with him because I want him to find me attractive. And I want to have the most attractive quality because that's going to attract him to me. See what I mean? Next one is know how to give her attention guys. Okay. This is huge. Don't text all day, every day. Of course, don't have a huge conversation via text, but you'll also want to make sure that you're being present with her when you are with each other. You don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to be talking to other people. You don't want to be staring at other people. You don't want to be giving eye contact everywhere. To, and, and when she's talking to you and not giving her a direct eye contact, but you also don't go ghost all week and never check in because you want to also make the time for one another and progress through it. Many times I've heard when men will go on a date and they just won't text her all week. They'll only text her once to set up the next date, but not in build any emotional effect in between the dates. And this brings up a resistance wall and it kind of is really 
speculating, I would say like for a woman, like I've had this happen before and it's not, I can't gauge a man's interest. And so I don't think it's really necessary to not text in between dates. You have to text in between dates to check in here and there, share something and then let it be. You don't text all day, every day though. Next is stick to your word and follow through. This is the one of the things that I need to embrace so much more on this channel that I have not talked about as much. This is one of the most important behaviors when it comes to long-term attraction in relationship and short term. This is a highly, highly masculine trait that allows women to actually step into their femininity. And so when you lack follow through and you lack sticking to your word, the woman will easily step into her masculine and the polarity in the relationship will start to become uneasy. If you are not doing this in your life in general, in your everyday life, then it's going to be hard for you to continue to follow through in your relationships with women and everything. And it may be quite hard to do it in your relationships with women if you're not even doing it in your life now. So get out of your comfort zone and really push yourself at this is what gives you your confidence. Because when you have confidence, it's not because it's an act or a trait that you're just born with. It's a trait that you are fulfilled within and how you follow through in life is you create trust with yourself. If you cannot follow through in the small things in life, you won't create trust in yourself. So your confidence and your self-worth will diminish. The people that are the most confident and have the most self-worth in their life is because they're able to do follow throughs in their life. They're able to follow through with their word, their commitments and their goals. And they do and they perform habits that get them there and get the habits out out of their way that push them away from their goals. So guys, if you stuck here to the very end, here is your chance to take the moment, subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification. So you're aware of every time I post a new video and also share this channel with a friend. And also too, I have something very special for you. It's my free ebook called my seven common mistake ebook that men make when attracting women. Also in the watch next playlist, I would encourage you to watch this video right over here. It's called chasing verse pursuing. In this video, I'm really going to dive into how you need to be in regards to pursuing a woman to ignite that attraction. Thank you for watching and remember you are always loved. Bye for now.